Insulators are going to be around forever. As long as they're transmitting electricity by wires, they're going to need insulators. My name is Andy Schwamm. I'm Director of Technology for Victor Insulators Incorporated. And today we're going to be talking about the process of making high voltage porcelain insulators. Well, an insulator is essentially just a very poor conductor. Its function is to separate a conductor or a high voltage line from the ground. We need insulators because without them, we could not get power to people to use for all of the things that we use electricity for. Our process starts with raw materials that are essentially powders. Porcelain is an odd material because it doesn't exist naturally. You need to mix the raw materials together as, as finely and completely as you can in order to end up with a material that's essentially like silly putty. And that's done with filter pressing, so we have this stiff clay, as we call it, and that's ready for further steps in the production process. Once we have removed most of the water from the clay, we, we end up with the material that we need to put in a form that we can use further in the process. That cylindrical shape is then used to turn on a lathe to get the shape that required for the insulator. The most critical step is the firing step because that's what determines what the electrical and mechanical characteristics of the product are after the process is complete. The energy of the kiln is driving the chemical reactions that don't want to take place between the raw materials. It's one of the reasons that porcelain is such a good insulating material. It takes so much energy to make it, it takes just as much energy to unmake it. Every single insulator is tested prior to shipment to ensure its integrity. Some of the testing is very simple. We would flash over the insulator for three to five seconds on a high frequency tester just to ensure there are no defects in the product. Other products such as large station posts, we mechanically test those at about 50% of their rated strength. Every single insulator is essentially, we try to break it to ensure that there are no issues with the insulator. The final step in the process is inspect and pack the product. As everybody knows, porcelain is somewhat fragile, so packaging is very important both for handling the product and protecting the product. So making sure that we're adequately protecting the product, but in as economical a manner as we can. So everything that we sell is adequately protected for shipment and use by the customer. I've been with this company since 1975, and the reason I've been here that long is because I love it, I enjoy it, and I don't want to stop. It.